Hello, my name is Shafira Leshofani, student number 182. So today I'm going to present my analysis for the final exam of a semiotic course with the title, The Loss of Independence Raised in Susan Glass-Bell's Triples Using Semiotic Structuralism Approach. Okay, first of all, uh, I'm going to present the background of Susan Glasspell. Susan Kedding Glasspell is an American novelist and dramatist who was born on July 1st, 1876 and died on July 27th, 1948. Before graduating from Drake University in 1899, she actively published some short stories in Youth Companion. It was kind of like a magazine and became a reporter for them one uh, daily news after then, I mean, after graduating. And she is the founder of Provincetown Players, an American uh, theatrical organization in 1915 with her husband, George Cram Cook. Her first novel is The Glory of the Conquered, followed by The Fishing in 1911. Her works show a wide stylistic range from psychological realism to symbolism and expression. Okay, so for the background of the Trifles, a one act play, Trifles uh, was published in Orwellis in 1916, uh, and was considered as Susan Glasspell's feminist masterpiece. It was actually Glasspell's most popular play. Basically, the play talked about a crime and left the audience wondering and discussing about the storyline. The play is shown by giving commentary on the different perception of each gender. Okay, for this analysis, the issue that I'm going that I'm going to raise is about the loss of independence, and for the theory I used is the semiotic structuralism approach. For the focus, I'm going to focus on symbolism, displacing meaning within the simile and metaphor, distorting meaning, and creating meaning uh, through the drama. And for the summary. The summary of the play, uh, John Wright, a farmer, has been murdered in his own house, found it died within a rope around his neck and killed while he sleep. The other characters suspect Mrs. Minnie Wright as the murdered or uh, Mrs. Mr. John Wright's wife. Turns out the woman noticed some important details related to Mrs. Wright's emotion and the killing's motive that the man could not relax. Through this analysis, I choose the part when Mrs. Hale and Mrs. Peters are left alone in the kitchen, noticing the details that the man's missed. The man here refers to Courtney Attorney, the local sheriff, and also Mr. Hale. Okay, uh, moving on into the analysis of symbolism. The symbolism here I found uh, that I'm going to explain more is the pretty box and silk, the kilt, the dead canary bird, and the bird cage. For the pretty box and silk, master class staff said that silk is a natural fiber known for its luster, shine, strength, and durability, and it has a long trading history across the world. Silk is the epitome of luxury due to its high cost to produce soft feel and elegant appearance and it is thus a popular textile in high end and culture fashion design so give round .co uk in 2020 said that giving a gift is influenced by emotion as the motivation giving a gift helps us to establish and divine our relationships giving to others strengthen our feeling for the person we're giving to the gift to. Okay, for the analysis, pretty box and silk that wrap the dead bird symbolizes Mrs. Wright's concern for the bird. Uh, or here, uh, it refers to the dead bird because the bird is already died. Uh, since 
since she gave a proper loss gift for the bird. It emphasized the information that the bird is valuable to her. Why is it valuable? I'm going to explain later. So the kilt, Barb Bergquist said in a blockway.com, people do kilt as the expression of who we are through the result, pattern, colors, and design. From glass bells trivial, kilt symbolizes the emotion of Mrs. Wright that the woman can see through the result of the sewing. The drama mentioned that sewing or not sewed very good and so awful queer that makes them worried for Mrs. Wright emotion or nervousness. So I mean here, the kilt actually makes Miss, Mrs. Hill and Mrs. Peter realize uh, of the emotion or the feeling that of Mrs. Wright or uh, makes them realize that Mrs. Wright is not okay since kilt can actually show the expression of who made it. And in result, the kilt that has been made by Mrs. Wright is not a very good result of uh, sewing. Okay, so for the birdcage, culture decanted in 2014 state that birdcage is the symbol of freedom that lost. Connecting to the object birdcage in a Wright's house, it symbolized the condition of Mrs. Wright, which is not free to do something. This is supported by the fact that Mrs. Wright is now not as free as she used to. What I mean by here is uh, Mrs. Wright uh, feeling like in the cage, like by her marriage. That's why she felt like, uh, that's why the birdcage here symbolized that um, Mrs. Wright is not as free as she used to before her marriage, before he, she married with John Wright. For the dead canary bird, Claire Harrison in 2021 states that canary bird represents the element of air. Canary bird, or known as well as songbirds, is a very sensitive bird has a notable focal skill and also strongly prefer to live alone when caged. Then, canary birds symbolize an independent individual. In the play, a dead canary bird symbolized the loss of independence, which connected to her past, which is singing or when she joining a, a choir, which also has been lost. So why canary bird? Because canary bird known as a songbird, right? And Mrs. Wright has a past story uh, that uh, when she was joining a choir that she has a very good voice in singing. Uh, that's why uh, I think that's why a glass bell used that canary bird as the symbolization of uh, Mrs. Wright. So, uh, so continuing for, from my explanation in the symbolism of, wait a minute, in a pretty box and silk, why the bird is valuable to her is because the bird represent her so much, whether uh, the birds can sing and the bird is a very sensitive uh, a bird. Uh, so that's why um, the bird is very valuable to her because the bird is represented her or Mrs. Wright so much. That's why uh, she, she felt that she lost the independent uh, because that symbolized the canary bird that has been died. Okay, moving on for the analyzing meaning by Riveter. So displacing meaning is caused by the use of comparative figurative language, such as metaphor, metonymy, personification, simile, synecdoche, allegory, and others. So for displacing meaning from the dialogues that I found is the dialogue that stated by Mrs. Hill, like a raw wind that gets to the bone. It is a simile that emphasized the personality of Mr. Wright 
which is a hard and straightforward man. So I think uh, this is the reason why Mr. Wright's behavior uh, affected Mrs. Wright's motive to kill um, Mr. Wright. And it caused the problem of their marriage. Uh, so the second one that I found is she was kind of like a bird herself, stated also by Mrs. L. It is a metaphor that emphasized Mrs. Wright as individual, which is real, sweet, pretty, but kind of timid and flattery. And for the second one, analyzing meaning by Rifatir, uh, distorting meaning from the dialogues. So a distraction or distortion of meaning occurs in the form of figurative language used to of contradictions, such as ambiguity, contradiction, nonsense, and so on. Okay, uh, for the dialogue that I found, uh, county attorney said, well, ladies, have you decided whether she was going to kill it or not it? Mrs. Peters answered, we think she was going to not it. The answer not shows an ambiguity. Why? Because not here used kind of like a multi meaning that refers to the way the killed mate and also the way she killed her husband, the act of not the neck. In fact, it is an ambiguity since the man still remain, remain uh, blind of the metaphor not. So why is it ambiguity? Because the man, including county attorney, the local sheriff and Mr. Hale, thinks that the answer of Mrs. Peter not is how the kilt is made by nothing, right? Nothing. Uh, meanwhile, Mrs. Peters and Mrs. Hale uh, said not it refers to the motive, refers to the way that Mrs. Wright killed her husband. And not word is also contradict to the kilt that is supposed to be sued, not not. So the kilt that has been made by Mrs. Uh, Wright is supposed to be sued, not not. That, that, that's why it, it is contradict. Moving on, the creating meaning. So the meaning of creation occurs because the arrangement of the text space, including enjambment, typography, and homologue. So what I found here, the dialogue, there was a crime, there was a crime, say Mrs. Hale. The redundant statement creates the meaning as a whole between the text and the reader that what Mr. Wright did to his wife is a crime, even when he is also the victim. And for the second one, tell her it ain't, tell her it's all right. So tell her, tell her is also redundant. Uh, another homologue, it's also another homologue for, from tell her, which is a parallel structure and creates the same meaning. Tell her, tell her. Uh, it refers to Mrs. Wright. So for the conclusion of my analysis, the issue of Susan Glassfield's trifle is the loss of independence. The analysis used by semiotic structuralism approach and the issue analysis is supported by the symbol of that canary bird of her past who loves to sing in the car, but then it lost. Second one, a cage as her limitation to do what she loves, including singing, described as dependent. That's, uh, or the cage, uh, which re represent the, her marriage. And pretty box and silk as Mrs. Wright a valuable thing or memory, uh, which is the bird, which also symbolize, symbolize as the bird. And fourth, the kilt that represent her emotion. For the idea is also supported by the similar and metaphor means to describe Mr. Wright's attitude towards his wife and Mrs. Wright's personality itself. Therefore, the issue then caused the motive of Mrs. Wright to do the murder. From the analysis, we can create a theme as someone who lost their independence may affect their identity, personality, and action. So 
I think that is all for me. This, these are the references that I use uh, for my analysis. And I hope you got my point. Thank you very much and have a good day.